Hello everyone and welcome back to Microsoft Flight Sim 2020. In this video I'm taking a look at the Carinado C-170B here in Chicago. We're taking off from Midway and I decided to get it during the recent Carinado sale. Uh, it was only $10.50 so I thought it was a pretty decent deal. Uh, we do have a lot of light planes in the game already uh, so it was a bit of a push on that topic but some of the light planes have glass cockpits, which I'm absolutely against when it comes to a small plane. Uh, just because I want... Uh, darn it. They don't have that many gauges in the first place. So, it's not that hard. Uh, this one has a particularly nice cockpit. And so that was a plus. Uh, this has very shiny textures. I picked one of the shiny PBR textures. Uh, they all are PBR, but uh, this one is shinier than most. We'll see how that does in the current lighting here at Midway. And yeah, so it's mostly a metallic look. Not all of them are like that, but most of them have most of the body being uh, basically metallic. So the first texture I think has white and blue and it doesn't have the bare metal sort of look to it. Uh, but yep, uh, we are off right now and it generally starts off. It, uh, if you click here, Sometimes this will be up right away, but uh, since I've already taken it out to check that it loaded, uh, I flip that off for a bit. Uh, we have this pad and it gives you options for cold and dark cockpit, uh, ready for taxi and ready for takeoff. I'll just go ready for takeoffs and say done. And so that starts that off. I do like the very uh, round knob for throttle, that's nice. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use track IR just for well, we're in Chicago and I expect the scenery to be good, so Hope that's not too distracting. Well, looking up Outside temperature thing there. Okay, so let's see how this goes. It is a tail dragger, but it does have a little bit of a tendency off to one side initially, but it's not too bad. So over there is Chicago downtown, so we're going to head over there soon. But we'll keep relatively low, as you might expect. There is... Uh, sort of electronic cockpit thing right underneath here that we can have a map but for now I don't need it so you can click this thing to get rid of it so when going outside I have to turn off the head tracking otherwise whoa that's loud so let's take a look at the textures that work can use the head tracking to move the focus down a bit, that might be nicer. So obviously this is meant as a sightseeing sort of plane in Flight Sim. And we're in a very sightseeing sort of place with Chicago. I expect this is all photogrammetry as well. I'm not sure, though. Looks like it. So people might be able to recognize their locations, maybe. Interesting to note, I uh, just went with the default fuel, which should be 50%. But here it reads 98%, and I'm just going to quickly check. Uh, yeah, it actually topped off the fuel, even though I had set to only 50% in the menu, you know, the, the default setting. So that's worth pointing out. It might be rather heavy on landing in that case.
back there. Just taking a look around. I haven't been to Chicago too much in Flight Sim yet. And previous times, uh, they had not improved the way the programmer tree loaded, so it wasn't quite as good an experience as it is now. I'll just go a bit along the shore and lament the loss of Meg's Field, though I know there's a mod that would give it back or something. Oh, there it is. I want a good angle. It's so nice. I hate how the stuff at the top of the buildings are not properly mesh rendered or too far away. That does annoy me. So sort of look. Let's go inside. This way we're not looking into the sun when looking at the downtown area. Okay, well, now for landing, which I'm most interested in. Tail draggers and me landing them, not always the best thing. However, this is a Cessna, so how hard can it be? We are fully loaded with fuel, basically, though, so that's not great. Just taking a look around. Fairly large rail yard here. Well, looking good. Fly low enough, and even this seems like it's going super fast. If I had the time, it'd be fun to try and fly around the country in the sim with this. But I've already committed to my around the world A planes thing, so I'm sure it'll have a part in that, but. Okay, turning back towards Midway. Oh, well, looks like trees for days around here. Now I've got the Bijan Habashi tree pack, which is why I've got the fall textures and everything. I don't know if every little homestead has such large trees around here though. Maybe, I mean, uh, well it sure looks good. I don't mind or anything. 
Okay, obviously I'm way low, but that was how we were doing things. Let's see now. Okay, here we go. Gotta try and set down as lightly as possible. Uh, it still hopped. Yeah. Okay, okay. Oh, uh, well, a few hops there, I think. I don't know. That felt pretty light, but maybe maybe I was just too heavy. I don't know. All right, let's go off here. Careful not to use too much brakes. Otherwise, we're going to flop onto our nose. Sounds fine to me, but I don't have a perfect sense of exactly how it's supposed to sound. Is that an F-22? I have an F-22 in here, it's a freeware F-22. But I didn't expect to see one parked casually over here. Uh, okay, little cart guy. Whoa, 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 oh, this turned really quickly just now. Okay. I did not, uh, that, that rear wheel is really doing a lot of work. This can turn, turn on a dime, apparently. Okay. So noted. Yep, that looks like the F-22 I have installed. Okay. You got, that was my parking spot. I was gonna take that, that van, shoot. I was gonna take the parking spot right next to the F-22, but no. What does the van think it is? A plane? Well, I'm gonna park here. Oh, there's the uh, battery. Okay, there we go. All right, so just a quick flight around Chicago, and that was the Carinado C170B. With that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.